What's up, guys? I am sitting in not my van. I'm doing a tour today. This is, I believe, my very first ambulance tour. I'm not even gonna go over all the specs right now because I'm with this lovely couple right here. Hi. I got Lydia and Philip from Gypsy Tribe on Instagram, but let's go check out this whole rig that they're in. I am so excited to check all of this out. I think you guys are too. Yeah, oh, yeah. woo! I've been spending a little bit of time with them and I fell in love with them. I love them so much. So let's check out everything that they got going on right now. All right, guys, I'm like sitting across from the van from you and I look far away, but I'm really not. I'm, uh, it's really nice. I love it. Uh, I'm sitting in your swivel right now. Yeah. Yep. This is your second van. Yeah, we had an old RV, like a vintage 1976 RV. I'm going to shut this just in case we have some noise, if that's OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah no problem. First of all, before we get into anything, I'm bald as all hell. So I'm really jealous of both of your hairs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if there is something in this van, it's good hair. <laughs> it's good. It's great hair. And I like, I'm like, damn it. I and hate you, you both. And you know the secret? Just don't wash it too much. Yeah. And now for everybody that actually hears your voice, uh, Lydia, you are not from this country. No, I'm actually from Mallorca, Spain. It's, a, an, it's an island from Spain in the Mediterranean. And I moved here uh, when I was 22. So that's like almost seven years ago. <laughs> you don't look that old. That's not fair. Uh, and you, uh, Philip, you are from, you said Florida? Yeah, I'm from Florida. Yeah. I grew up in Florida. Uh, uh, moved out of California about six years. Uh, been out here for like six years. Good for you, man. And you guys got married how long ago? Four years, a little over four years. Four years? Yeah. Holy crap, I didn't realize it was like that. Damn, yeah. that's so awesome. I'm so happy for you guys. You guys are very inspiring on all of your channels, everything that you do on social Thanks. media. You guys have a phenomenal YouTube, uh, well, not just YouTube, but Instagram. You have uh, your Instagram, <laughs> your main, like, I guess, van life Instagram is uh, underscore gypsy tribe underscore. Yeah, yeah. correct. Okay. Yep. Uh, I, yeah, and then I believe you both have separate accounts. Yeah, yeah. I have uh, an account more related with skateboarding and... You're a like, skater girl? Yeah, I'm a skater chick. What's your personal page? Do you want to give your personal yeah, page? Yeah, uh, it's Lydia underscore Rico. That's like my last name. So. That's like your last name? Yeah, okay. Lydia Rico. <laughs> <laughs> Philip, if you want to give your personal page, you're more than happy to. Yeah, sure. It's with underscore out underscore bound. Philip, you come from a massive background, and we're gonna get more into this later uh, as we talk more about your van, your current van situation, but you have some sort of engineering degree that not a lot of people in van life have. Yeah, not technically engineering, but it's uh, automotive technology. All right, well, that. that's super smart. Automotive technology, yeah. that's your degree. Yeah, it's Holy basically crap. like associates in science degree, but I know a lot about cars. So. You know a lot about cars, which helps what we're sitting in right now. Yeah. Oh, that is pretty handy. That is I have phenomenal. to say that it's a relief to be with somebody that you know that if you break down, no matter what, he's going to mm. fix it. So yes. when you're living on the road, things happen and he always fix it. It's like my guy there sometimes. It's like, okay, <laughs> okay, let's do yeah. it until this auto party store. And then he keeps, you know, like... Sometimes keeps... you got to use a lot of zip ties and bungee cords and bubble gum. <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> on the side of the road hey but it works yeah. that's yeah. all that matters yeah. otherwise we're pretty good at hitchhiking too you know uh. so. awesome let's get into the van if that's okay the van yeah. or I, I call it a van although i guess it's an ambulance right yeah it used to be we, we used to be a van all right we'll go van <laughs> year make model what do we got here so it's a 2006 ford e350 it's got a power stroke six liter engine uh and that's about it what miles per gallon of diesel this is a diesel yeah so diesel. this thing is a hog no, it's actually pretty good. Really? Better yeah. than gas, yeah. So before the lift and big tires, we were getting like 18 miles to the gallon highway. Wow. I think now it's hard to say because the speedometer is a little off. I think it's like 15 miles per gallon highway. So it's probably like 10 to 15 city highway. And now that you mentioned it and but that I probably already showed the outside of the van, it's pretty obvious you put a lift on this thing. <laughs> Not only put a lift on it, but you dropped a four by four into it as well. Yeah, and four wheel drive. And because we already went over your background, people should know that you did this yourself. Yeah, except for a little bit of welding that I had my buddy do. But yeah, we did the whole conversion ourselves. And you've obviously done this stuff in the past. You have a degree in this stuff. You know how to do it. Also, very important, you actually just touched on before we started filming, the wiring schematic in an ambulance is not easy. It's not, yeah. So please, 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 for just tell people that are interested in ambulance conversions, maybe kind of just talk to them about maybe reading a wiring schematic. Yeah, well, 
actually the hardest part was finding the wiring schematic because they're not really available. Okay. But uh, yeah, just if you want an ambulance, you're going to have to know a lot about 12 volt circuits or you're just going to have to keep all the original ambulance stuff. First thing people want to do is like remove all this extra wiring and I don't recommend that because you're going to run into some issues. Studying the wire diagrams and like we had a design of how the layout was going to be so we started to knowing which outlets he could reuse for like getting the, the plug right here or the plug in there like using the original plugs yeah. to just extend them to have them here mm -hmm. depending if they are uh, 12 volt or if they are 120. I wanted to do as much 12 volt systems as possible because it's the most efficient because right. you don't have to convert it to higher voltage. Right. So what is your power system? You have you have a house system and you have your, your van system. So what's your right. house system? So the house system we have four AGM batteries. They're okay. Six volt. So they're wired in series parallel. So they're made into 12s. Right. Gotcha. So it's like having two big 12 volt batteries. Okay, so how many um, watt hours or amp hours? We have 400 amp hours. Okay. And then we have 500 watts of solar. We have a 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Uh, do you have capability of plugging in or no? Yes. Oh, you do? And also, yeah, because the ambulance came with the plug. Of course it did. <laughs> I just had to hook it up to the inverter and I had to make sure I got an inverter that have the capabilities for plug-in charging it works killer like charge the batteries in like two hours can you also charge your batteries via alternator van alternator right okay so, so you have three also, ways so. because it was an ambulance it has a dual alternator system two alternators 500 watts and plug-in so power charging. is something you guys really never worry about yeah and that was the goal when we set it up i wanted to do it a little overkill so it's first of all it's comfortable like living in a house yeah. and second of all we don't have to worry about it like i don't even ever check i have yeah. my solar controller on an app so i can look up the intake over the last 30 days mm -hmm. and we don't even look at it it's just always there so. i had to say that it was like a little bit of an issue when we were building the van like because like we wanted to have also room on the roof to maybe like hang out but we decide to don't have that because we have one more solar panel mm -hmm. than because mm -hmm. we, we just knew that that was an argument with our we previous, had. yeah because <laughs> yeah, I wanted the room and he wanted the power and at the end I was reasonable and I really want the power also because like oh, we, I, just, I just said no <laughs> <laughs> sorry well, I already bought the panel and we got the no, I mean, now we were debating for like two days and then we bought the, the solar system the solar system with the best like you know amount of watts so we can get so definitely i recommend to do that too because we run into issues in our mm. previous rv like you have a couple of days that is not sunny and mm -hmm. then you don't have battery and then you can't even charge your computer that's yeah. not something we want to go through anymore well, the big deal with the rv is we had to keep turning the refrigerator off Mm. Yeah. So we would like have food for three, maybe five days, and we would like to start unplugging it at night. Yeah. To like preserve the You batteries. had a 120 volt? No. Uh, yeah, now yeah. Have in, the, in the RV you did. Oh, yeah, now yeah. you have a 12 volt. Correct. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to get this at this point of the video, I think, is uh, an ambulances are small. Can you stand up in your ambulance? Hi, guys. <laughs> How tall are you, Lydia? 5'4. Uh, 5'4? Five, four. Five, five, four? Four, oh, yeah, because yeah. Spain does different yeah. calculations. I do centimeters, so I'm 160. 160 so, centimeters, so yeah. five foot four in uh, US. <laughs> uh, I, you are about my height. You're five, I'm 5'8. Five I'm 5'6. Five, You're 5'6? Five, show people. And then I, I gotta just like tilt my head a little bit. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna have to tilt mine a little bit as well. Yeah. But that's okay. I'm all right with it. But I'm very cool with it. I can stand up like where the fan is. So. Lydia, you have this uh, camp, is a, I guess a stove, a full on oven. Holy crap. Yeah, it's a camper. Chief. Yeah, it has like two burner stove and the oven. So when you, so because you can stand, do you do most of the cooking? Yeah, I do most of the cooking, most of the cleaning, and I love it because I'd rather to have it well done than like, you know, like men do, so. Okay. I just rather do it. I like I, it well I done. Know, I like I it well done. <laughs> I, I enjoy it. I don't mind because we, we really design everything in a way that it flows. And okay. For somebody that is building a van, I would totally recommend to go with the van uh, like bird empty. Just put a bed somewhere like a mattress and just go for a little trip. And That's a like, really good idea. And, yeah. and see like what you like to see from your windows. If you don't have a window, you, you maybe sit down and say, oh, I wish I had a window here in the, in the kitchen right there. So we did that a couple of trips. We even went to Baja with nothing in the van. Yeah, we like, slept completely, on the floor. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, with a cooler. And we went for like a week to Baja and, and that was a trip that make us design the van. So after we came back from Baja, I got some tape. 
Yeah. And we felt I extra taped, motivated after I taped, that. Taped, like, <laughs> That's awesome. That's a really good idea. The, the design and, and like measuring how big it was going to be. So I was standing here with him, seeing how much room we would have here to walk in and out or pass around us. Right underneath the countertop there, what is that a, is that a, like an extending board? Yeah, it's a pull Yeah, out. this is like oh, a crap. pull out table. Oh my goodness, and you fit a laptop in there? I yeah. guess so. I guess so. <laughs> You're like, I did not know this. That was like a perfect accident. Uh -huh. And we use it a lot, you know, also. Yeah, also you know, we have yeah. this sink here that removes. Oh, nice. So things are a little bit dirty right now, and then we can. Oh, you're good. Yeah, we put that put thing here. here too. So we have like, two, we put, a, like, put something like it's a little more level, but like we use that a lot too. So we can like. You can actually get work done if you need to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. work done when we eat, you know, it's good to. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. You know, because you, if you eat like this, it's not like that comfortable like, if you have like something here, you know, right in front of your face instead of like being like that, you know. You have the swivel I was just sitting in that honestly I didn't want to get up from because it's like I don't <laughs> yeah. know what like I don't know where you got those they're like lounge boy chairs. Yeah, you gotta definitely get those in there because they're <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I'm going to get them absolutely. Don't you worry about that. How big is your bed? You obviously both fit on there very comfortably. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know yeah, the size we of sleep it? Long ways. Do you sleep the other that way? Really? Because you, you definitely fit. can fit the other way. Yeah. Look at them both getting in bed. That's yeah, hilarious. Like, I don't think you. I don't think I've ever had somebody get in bed. That's how we sleep. <laughs> that you know, my life. <laughs> so you guys sleep the long. Obviously, uh, you said you were five six, Philip. So you yeah. fit easily, and, and obviously, uh, Lydia, you're shorter. Uh, we normally sleep if because uh, he's uh, this I area think it's of the bed. Seventy inches. Oh really? So it's pretty much a queen size. Oh it's crap! It's a tiny bit. Uh, shorter, I think it's 58 by 70. Oh, that's pretty damn good. He yeah. normally sleeps on this side because it's a little bit bigger than Yeah, right the, there, the van so. kind of like goes in toward the back just like a an inch or two. So the actually back side of the bed is just like a couple inches shorter. So I usually make her sleep there. I don't mind. <laughs> All right, so how long did it take you to do this whole conversion? Because like I know ambulances are not easy to convert. Yeah, well the biggest part was kind of saving up money and then investing into it. Okay. So it took us like two years, but if you squish it all into actual like labor hours, it was yeah. probably like... Sorry about my phone, like guys. Six, <laughs> that's all good. It's probably like six months. Okay. Working yeah, every day if yeah. we're doing it full time. Yeah, that's the thing. We... It was like weekends here and there. And yeah. Then, not for a while saving money or yeah, we... going on a trip because like when you're working on it so much, you know, it's like you get to a point where like, all right, we have to like use it and get some steam out. You know? Yeah, that actually segues a little bit into like work. You guys are not remote, but remote. Like you travel a little bit, but you have to save up money. Like you just said, like at Van Lifers, we work by the way. I don't know if you guys know this. Yeah. You know, we all work and it's not like we all just like are just sitting on beaches, although we are on a beach right now. Look at this, by the way, we're on a beach. Uh, we're on a beach right now. Yeah, <laughs> but, I, to get the views, I just know? wanna, I was, just want to say that you know some people has like the perception that when you live in a van you have to make income remotely mm -hmm. and we are definitely a proof that you don't have to work remotely all the time to actually live this lifestyle because right now uh, we have like jobs that we have to stay in one area to save up money and we still live in a van and we don't have an apartment when we have time off we still go far away with our house and we don't pay for like vacation homes or like a hotel or anything right we did many different things on the road like working like seasonal work and then save up yeah, enough we money on a farm before yeah and and this is just like many different things that you can actually work if you put in your head that you're in an apartment because it's the same thing we've been in san diego probably for a little over a year now and i've wow. been a mechanic full time yeah that's here. where we probably Build the, this van like with San Diego, and we needed like a like a solid like you know place to work on the van, and like it needed to be somewhere reliable for us, yeah. and we needed an income like a steady. We have the plan that we want to be in here for a long time, right? So it just looks like it, yeah, to last a while. Well, all right, so you got all right. Let me go back a little bit. I'm sorry. First of all, I feel like I'm on top of the world sitting in here. By the way, <laughs> um, you decided to go with a six inch lift. That's not normal. Right. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna call you out, man. Six inch lift, four by four. Why? Because well, cause we want to go to the middle of nowhere. To, okay. You know? it's, it's necessary yeah. because we want to go, you know, we want to travel south into Mexico and further. And I'm a surfer and she loves the beach too. So we want to just go get as lost as possible. And you can with this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This handles pretty much all terrain. Oh man, yeah. it's insane. Like, 
the first time we actually tried it. Yeah. So I after, was after we I'm finished like, the lift, we went straight out to the desert and beat the crap out of like it. It's like you can get away with this now. Like we're yeah. crawling rocks. Oh like, my goodness. Straight up. Is it like, independent? Is it four independent? Uh, no. Okay. It's, it's all straight axle. Okay. But on leaf springs, independence good though. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. If we had that, that's like real rock crawling. Ride, yeah, ride better too on the road. Yeah, but, but uh, it's also expensive. But yeah, also with independent or with straight axle, it's more heavy duty, which is better for a really heavy van. Do you want to give a shout out to where you got your conversion? Yeah. Yeah. He got it from Chris. He's at U Joint Off Road. Okay. And he makes kits, uh, unfortunately not for Sprinter vans, but for all 40 Econo lines. And he's developing kits for the new Transit vans. Do you know what the the lift plus 4x4 conversion cost? Okay, so I did all the work myself. Yeah, so li the, subtract labor. Money. Yeah. Usually, if you're paying somebody else to do it, it's about twenty thousand dollars or more if you get like upgraded uh, parts and components. I got the whole kit for ten grand, just all parts. Yeah. And I sourced out used parts from uh, junkyard. This place called LKQ, which is like a national automotive recycler so i got like the transfer case the front axle yeah the major four-wheel drive components basically off of a ford truck from a junkyard for used for a little bit cheaper just on the outside alone you've got like 15 grand in this thing yeah like 11. well i was adding the solar panels i was adding oh, your yeah. ladder i yeah, was adding yeah. just yeah. everything think, that you added to the outside I think total, the yeah total with the van and all were probably around like twenty thousand dollars but again you did 100 percent of the labor and yeah. we own yeah. everything yeah, we don't me, have to pay anything her. everything is paid off and it's like well yeah, yeah. we both did the labor yes that's why it took so long that's why it took two years because we I, was like, saved, I know you <laughs> did a chunk here a chunk there Most importantly, because you do this professionally, you are going to be releasing soon on your YouTube channel how the heck you did all this. Yeah, so we filmed the whole process, uh, everything on the inside, and we just filmed the whole process of doing the 4x4 conversion, uh, knowing that we're going to up upload some how-to videos on YouTube. Yeah, we're pretty much working on a series of van build and van conversion for the four-wheel drive mm -hmm. that is coming soon we're just like getting ready all the chapters because like he's saying we were filming everything while yeah. we were building but yeah. right now we're done so we have time to actually edit because like it's a lot of work like yeah. you guys know yeah fine no i know i don't think everybody here watching knows yeah. it is a lot of hours that we yeah. put in and, and we also want to leave you know it's not yeah. like we also want to sleep at night and stuff yeah. you know? <laughs> Running a social media account, editing videos, and Philip, you are very uh, like precise about your editing skills. You're very good at it. Yeah, I get pretty tactical. Uh, yes, you are very, very good at it. You didn't even go to school for that, did you? No. It's really good. Like he's very cinematic, very good. Yep. Lydia and I are very vloggish. We're very, very, very real and raw vloggish. style. Vloggish. I like. Yeah. It's almost like lavish. Yeah, yeah lavish. Vloggish. No, we're vloggish. Uh, so Lydia and I, we connect on a, a vloggish style. But I'm telling you guys, Phillips' like edits are phenomenal. Oh, yeah, he has a talent. He yeah. does have a lot it's of like talent. I tell him, you know, he's like, I watched you a lot have, of movies. You're a genius. <laughs> you did. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, amazing drone shots and oh, he watched Peter McKinnon. Uh, I can see your cameras behind you so you guys know what you're doing I know this for a fact you guys are also going to be at Tiny Fest California with me yeah. so come out and see not only Gypsy Tribe but me as well 
uh, as well as she's a bunch of my friends of recent. Yeah, uh, check us out in the van village. Yes, hundred yeah, percent. Sure. I'm super excited. There's gonna be like forty vans at Tiny Fest, guys. Like yeah. I don't think people understand and that. And buses. And buses. buses everything. Too. Everything. Tiny, ho tiny homes. Container can get homes. Container yeah. homes. But we're, just in Van Village alone, we're looking at forty. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I can't wait. We didn't really go over like the van itself. I was just so intrigued by the outside of it. I'm looking at you guys right now, and we're looking around the van. You guys are clean, minimalist to a T. Although I didn't show this. <laughs> <laughs> I did not show this beautiful mirror right here. Do we you didn't. Want me to show yeah, you I would closet? love for you to see this. This is your whole closet. This is our closet. No, Both of you? Yeah. Full size mirrors. So we yeah, have yeah. like it's pretty 50 50 here, you know? I'm gonna zoom that's, out. There we go. That's Philip's size. That's my size. Pretty proportionate, you know? Some storage here on the doors, like some nets, like uh, stretchy nets, and then more space here, here. Yeah, some towels, and that's it. And then we have over here. You have a full size mirror, two of them. Two, yeah, yeah. two full size mirrors. Yeah, because you know, you live in a van and you know, you want to, like, oh my God, do I look good? Because I didn't take a shower in three days. So I, I actually <laughs> have not. Yeah. Do I look good? So, do you guys have an outdoor shower? Yeah. Out? Oh, you do? Uh, kind of. Yeah, we actually pull this out. Holy crap. And then you just, like, open the doors, you know. And, and this is like a wash down, you know, from surfing or exactly. from out in the mud exactly. or whatever it could be. Yeah, yeah. That's a long uh, cord. Yeah, we, we have like our water heater down here. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like right oh, there. Oh, yeah. It's an electric water heater. Yep. That's why we have a lot of solar panels, you know, so we can actually run an electric water heater because we run into some issues with this tankless. At I'm first, I got a propane one. I was going to mount it in there. Yeah. We were testing it, you know, I didn't just bolt it in, so I had the lines hooked up and we were testing it out here. And it was like a cheaper one. I was sure. trying to get like the bang for the buck. Yeah. And it like caught on fire. No way. And I was like, all right, we'll get yeah. the electric one. <laughs> yeah, totally. uh, how much fresh water do you have? So 30 gallons. Yeah, well, 30 gallons? Yeah. And that's like great water right here. Yeah, I figured that. Five that's gallon five gray gallons water. of great water. That's all you need. Then you just dump yeah. it. I mean, we all, everybody in Van Life should know this, but we all use biodegradable soaps, yeah. et cetera, oh, yeah. and so forth. Yeah. Seventh generation. Definitely. Yep, Miss Myers. Yep. Yeah. There's a free dump station, so we've just been dumping everything there. Oh, the there is. Yeah, in San Diego, yeah. Because we had the RV, so we, we're pretty keen to mm -hmm. like. You're keeping track of your waste. For some reason, everybody on my channel, and you guys don't have to show it, but there is a toilet in here. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. just underneath the. I don't care. Super basic. I have to say that Philip doesn't use this. He always goes public restrooms. Do yeah. you really? Yes. Well, One and two, or? I've never used it. Yeah. So. I use this. It's like you open the legs. It has like legs. So oh my goodness. Open, open the legs, and then you put like a plastic bag here. And okay. You only put like a bio, like biodegradable plastic. Right, right. Plastic. By the way. Compostable. So yeah, safe. Bag, I'll give a little hack. You usually, I personally, if I do use like compostable ones, I use, I'll double it yeah. because they tend to rip. When I she, tell you what I do, <laughs> oh, do you? I put paper towels on the bottom. Okay. And then, you know, I do it carefully. That's actually a cool little system what, there. What you can do too is get like some cedar wood chips or something. Yep, I've heard of that. Yeah, like you guys are so. I, I honestly, I could spend all day with you. I can't believe I have to actually go do like other crap. It's been a lot of fun with you guys. I'm so excited. You guys want to finish off with anything? Yeah, if uh, you're interested in anything else too, we have a van tour video on our YouTube channel that goes pretty in depth on. Oh, you don't think I'm already gonna plug that? Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, definitely check out your YouTube 100%. Mm -hmm. You guys have a website that you're gonna give me. Yeah. Um, you guys. PhilipInLydia.com. That's what it is, philipinlydia.com. Yeah. Obviously, check out their Instagram, their YouTube, their website. And if you have any mechanical questions, please don't ask me. Ask <laughs> Philip. No way I know mechanical stuff what's all. I can yeah. design and build, but I cannot do mechanical. Maybe I'll have to just travel with you, dude. Let's caravan. Yeah, let's caravan, let's man. Me on the budget. Yeah, let's do it. All right, guys. I got Lydia on my right, and I got Philip on my left. A gypsy Tribe, please check them out. By the way, amazing tattoo on your palm. Oh, yeah. That's super Thank cool. You. I don't. That must have hurt like hell. Yeah. Uh, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, guys, please check them out. Uh, I love you both, and I can't wait to see you in just like three, four weeks. I'm excited. Yeah. yeah. Woo. All right, guys. See you later.